being locked up in your home and not having any outlet can really take a toll on a person's mindset. And so social interactions, being able to share some of that experiences with a healthcare provider, we're able to get that kind of um, care for them, um, someone to talk to if they need medications, that provider is capable of prescribing and getting that person on that same track. But I have to share, since my background is aesthetics, there are medical documentation and research that shows Botox actually helps with depression. So I truly believe if you look good, you feel good. I, I, right. I'm a big um, you know, advocate for that. If you look good, you feel good. Get out there, get healthy, take a walk. You know, if you are starting to feel a little bit more depressed because we're stuck inside or COVID took a toll on your financial situation, you know, get out there. It's free to walk, to be honest. So and I think our bodies went through a, a survival mode and we tried to store. And so a lot of people are storing, eating high fatty foods to store. And it's a, it's a, I think a mindset. I, I totally advocate for it. My husband is on it. He's lost, I would say over 30 pounds and it really is your body. You put your body into a, I don't want to say stressful mode, but it's really having to eat up some of your stores or your fat stores instead of constantly feeding it sugars and fats to maintain that energy. I am a professor at univer the University of Hawaii. I've been there for 11 years. I've been at the Hilo campus for six years and I teach a right, wide range of courses, you know, anatomy, nursing, obviously, pediatric health. And um, I decided to start my own school, per se, or academy. It's called Hawaii Medical Aesthetics Academy. I was a statistic to share. I had my, do my daughter at 16 and she's now 22. I think she's going to be 23. But she was my motivating factor. I was a young teen mom. I was a statistic. There's a lot of stigma that came with that. Mm -hmm. And my mother, my parents, my grandmother continued to be that support and told me that I could do whatever I put my mind to. I think it's very easy to get stuck into that mindset. And I think that's exactly what um, you were sharing. You fall within a category or, or a community and society places you in that category. And I've seen that. There was a lot of embarrassment and shame, um, even going to high school and finishing. Before I graduated, she said, I don't care what you do, but you're going to take this nursing class and you're going to have a certificate and you're going to work if you're going to stay under my roof. And I did that first course. It was an eight week course it was as a certified nurse aide. And I loved it. And I knew that was my calling. And little did my mom, I think she realizes it now, but she planted that seed and nursing has done so much for me you talk about success and to me my success and that feel good moment is really when your patient is healthy and happy and they continue to come to you and seek medical advice or even just advice for life kind of rang true to who i am now if there's something that interests me i'm going to make sure that i dive head first into it you know right into the books now we're lucky we've got google yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, so I did the research and I I took my classes seriously. I was there on time. I left late um, and definitely knew the skills that was required of me. You know, one of the things that my mom always taught because she's an educator is to reach, teach and inspire. And that's really my motto. You know, we want to reach the future of healthcare. to be honest, whether they're in high school whether they're in college, but we do have a big connection with YNI High School. I'm, to be honest, I'm always working. And it's, you know, I give a lot of credit to people who decide to be self-employed because their family life and, and um, social life kind of is placed on the back burner. It spoke about increasing educational opportunities for the underserved. Uh, that underserved population was... Um, children of incarcerated parents and as I mentioned my father was incarcerated for a lot of my life and there wasn't any educational opportunities or programs for me or my siblings unless they're taught not to unless they're educated unless they're able to see the opportunities out there that exist and so I think that's the part that we need to focus on and there's a lot of, there's room for change. But yeah, I'm finding more and more that the focus for the show could 
kind of tilt more towards like getting Native Hawaiians more inspired right. to to be successful. See other Native Hawaiians who have become successful and following right. their footsteps, and the successful Native Hawaiians come back and help those other Native Hawaiians to build success also. Right. Paint it forward. Paint it forward. That's really what it's about. Yeah, right. paint it forward. Yep. If you succeed, I succeed. Absolutely. Right. I agree. 